It's time for Devotions from History. On July 23rd of 1742, one of the most remarkable women of English church history finally earned a well-deserved eternal rest. She was brilliant, but was unable to complete her education. She was also multi-talented, but she lived at a time when the talents of women were not readily encouraged. She married a preacher, gave birth to 19 children, and buried nine of them. Her house burned up, her barns fell down, her health failed, and she lived with a bill collector banging on her door. Her name was Susanna Wesley, and she's gone down in history as a role model, as a wife and mother. But her family life was no bed of roses. Her husband Samuel didn't make a lot of money, and he seemed to be incapable of managing what he did make. So he served quite a bit of time in debtor's prison, leaving Susanna at home to manage not only his children, but his church. The two argued quite often. They were both highly opinionated about politics, about child rearing, and about money. Those arguments often leading to separate beds. They also fought over the ministry, as Samuel was quite upset that Susanna's Bible studies often drew quite a few more people than his sermons did. There were long-standing rumors that there was a ghost that lived in her upstairs attic named Jeffrey, and she had a brother who kept promising her money to help with the debts until he finally skipped town and was never heard from again. Matter of fact, some, some of her ten children that lived were so wayward that she referred to them as a constant affliction. And yet her parsonage home in England has gone down in history as a model place of child rearing. And she's known as a mother who shook the world through the influence of her sons, John and Charles Wesley. So this really encourages me because sometimes we take a look at our families and see the dysfunction and we wonder what on earth can God do with us. Remember Susanna Wesley as you look at your own family and know that God can take even the most dysfunctional of families and bring some pretty good history makers out of them. Have a great day the rest of the weekend. Enjoy yourself and remember when you look at your family, who knows? Maybe there's a history maker right there in your house. I'll see you Monday on Devotions from History.